Bethel University defeated Clinton 78 to 72 to win the NCCAA Division I National Championship. The pilots were led by coach Steve Draven and NCCA Division I Tournament MVP Drew Lutz, who finished with 35 points in the championship game and was also named as the NCCA Division I National Player of the Year. Congratulations to Bethel University, the 2023 NCCAA Division I National Champions. All righty, big, big speech time. Dan Snow, that is fantastic stuff, the voice of God right there. I'd like to hire you at Bethel University. <laughs> um, let's talk after. Um, first off, I just want to, uh, before I forget, thank my wife uh, for being with me this weekend and just all, all the wives, coaches, wives out there, all the sacrifice you guys put. So thank you, honey. I uh, also want to be in prayer if you guys can continue to pray for my parents who are at home with our nine, seven, five, and three year olds. <laughs> uh, but thank you. Um, Blessed to be here. Uh, very honored and privileged to be amongst so many great coaches. I've had uh, great conversations here throughout this weekend. Uh, thank you to J uh, John McCarthy, just the whole small college basketball staff, um, just giving us the opportunity to uh, uh, have our seasons recognized. Uh, been, been that, or the, other, the only issue I have, John, just with this weekend is there we go. did you use somebody besides? Somebody who we get a Wesley to do that. <laughs> the, uh, the high office. Give a good least good friend. Uh, a lot of respect for your legend that you in our conference. Uh, but anyway, thank you to the small college basketball staff. Our season had a fun, a fun season, just like many coaches, many programs. Um, did come with some ups and downs, some challenges, some injuries along the way. Uh, just in short, we uh, uh, were fortunate to uh, you know, get 40 win season, top 50 RPI. Um, some crazy coach scheduled the top 20, uh, toughest schedule in the country. Um, so we had a lot of good things that we did, made the NAI National Tournament. Typically, um, in NCCAA, if you make the NAI National Tournament in years past, you've not been able to play in the NCCAA. With the opening round, uh, NAI Division 1 and 2 all combined into one division. Uh, if you get beaten in the first or second round, you're able to play in the NCCAA. A little bit different this year for us. Um, unfortunately, get beat in the opening round um, in the I National Tournament. Our guys obviously down, wanted to go further in the tournament, and so um, had to have a meeting with them the next morning <coughs> in our, our hotel conference room. Could tell guys were a little uh, dejected and down. They wanted to, to pers you know, pursue the NAI National Tournament, but the next week we played in NCCA. Had two players that we found out were not allowed, they were not able to play. At one concussion, one was a hamstring. So we go from 12 players down to 10. Um, in our conference semi, or the uh, NCCA semifinal game, Drew Lutz, uh, best player, uh, the NCCA uh, player of the year, national player of the year, goes down with a hamstring in the second half in the semifinal game. Um, we end up finding a way to win that game, fortunately. Um, we go to the championship game, and our second best player, Nathan Harris, um, has a uh, stomach virus. He travels with us, he tries to play, can't play. Mom and dad end up going to the locker room, they take him to the hospital. And so we're down to, we have three guys that started the game who had a combined of one total start on the whole season. So we're down to six or seven players. I told the guys before the game, let's make a move. And this is an opportunity for us to, to go make a great memory. Um, and we had we a guy like Granville that um, started the game, you know, probably played a total of 30 minutes the whole year, had 15 points and 15 rebounds. Um, and just to see a guy that, continue to work and work and work all season, not able to get a, a ton of playing time as coaches. Uh, it was awesome to just to see that and to see our, our team just rally behind him and the rest of our um, his teammates. So a story that um, you know, my young coaching career, I'll remember for the rest of my career. Um, and again, just grateful for small college basketball and this recognition. Thank you.